Good day everyone. It is nice to see you again. Welcome to our any learning as our learning community. Lesson 4. Emergency Drugs and Equipment. Generally, the goal of using emergency drugs is to prevent the patient from deteriorating to an arrest situation. This lesson will help you to understand emergency drugs and their uses. And these are one of the important parts in setting up emergency medicine or care department. Medical devices allow healthcare personnel to more accurately monitor patient health and help doctors perform various functions in the emergency room. If a piece of medical equipment fails, the quality of patient care can decrease, which can even affect patient safety. Any facility that treats patients who have the potential to have a sudden deterioration in their condition should have a crash cart available. The contents and organization of crash carts may vary. It is a good idea for you to make yourself aware of the crash cart that you are most likely going to encounter during a code. This document is current with respect to the latest drug indications in the 2016 American Heart Association guidelines for cardiopulmonary resuscitation and emergency cardiovascular care. Crash cart. It is a multi-draw wheeled cabinet with the essential medication and equipment that required in emergency situations. Any environment in which a patient may unexpectedly experience a medical emergency needs to have the equipment to deal with that emergency efficiently. Purposes of Crash Cart 1. To provide immediate access to supplies and medications. 2. To facilitate coordination of emergency equipment. 3. To ensure a properly stocked crash carts will be readily available. 4. To ensure the properly functioning defibrillator will be readily available. And 5. To save the valuable time at the time of emergency. Indications of using the crashed cart are the following. Compromised airway. Respiratory distress slash respiratory arrest. Cardiac arrest slash abnormal cardiac rhythm. Drug overdose. Hypoglycemia. Anaphylactic reaction. Parts of a crashed cart are the following. Intravenous pole with hooks. Sharp container slash needle disposal holder. Two dust baskets. Defibrillator shelf. Sliding side shelf. Drawers. CPR board slash backboard. And oxygen tank holder. The contents and organization of crash carts may vary. It is a good idea for you to make yourself aware of the crash cart that you are most likely going to encounter during a code. The major parts of the crash cart are the following. Top shelf and the drawers. On the top shelf, you can see the following. Defibrillator with monitor. SpO2 probe. ECG strips. Other external contents are the following. Oxygen supply. Emergency crash cart check sheet. Checklist of cart contents. Emergency drug information sheet. Sharp container slash needle disposal holder. Dust baskets. Backboard slash CPR board. For the internal contents, we have the following drawers. Drawer 1. Medication drawer. Drawer 2. Airway management drawer. Drawer 3. Circulation. Venipuncture tubes and equipment. Drawer 4. Circulation. IV solutions and tubing. Drawer 5. Special procedure trays. Drawer 1. Medication drawer. Medications are usually kept in the top drawer of most crash cards. These need to be accessed and delivered as quickly as possible in emergent situations. Therefore, they need to be available to provide us very easily. The medications are usually provided in a way that makes them easy to measure and dispense quickly. The common set of first draw medications are the following. Amiodarone, atropine, vasopressin, calcium gluconate, dextrose 50%, epinephrine, lidocaine, sodium bicarbonate 50 max, dopamine, lasix, Butamine, nitroglycerine, verapamil, magnesium sulfate. The drug study of the medications is provided on your module. 
I will drop a link on the description box for your reference. Drawer 2. Airway Management Drawer. Many crash carts will also include most of the materials necessary to perform intubation. This drawer contains the following. Airways, oral, with assorted sizes. Airways, nasal trumpet, with assorted sizes. Intubation tray, laryngoscopes, non-disposable and disposable with blades. KY jelly, 10cc syringes. Stylet, tape, batteries. ET tubes with the following sizes 3.0, 6.5, 7.0, 7.5. or suction. Suction tubing. Oxygen mask with tubing. Nasal cannula. ABG kits. Bite block. Tongue depressors. Draw 3. Circulation. Venipuncture tubes and equipment. 20 ml syringe. 3 ml syringes. TB syringe. Intravenous start equipment such as the following. 18 gauge cannula. 20 gauge cannula. 22 gauge cannula. Tourniquet. Assorted butterflies. 3 way stopcock. Assorted needles. Betadine swabs. Alcohol swabs. Saline locks. Lidocaine topical solution. Radial artery catheterization set. Tape. Electrodes. BP cuff with stethoscope. Assorted sterile gloves. Packages of defibrillator pads. NASA gastric tube. 60 ml syringe. And locks. Drawer 4. Circulation. Intravenous solutions and tubing. Intravenous solutions such as the following. 1000 ml each of D5 water, LRS, NSS. 500 ml each D5 water, NSS. 100 ml NSS. Dibutamine. Dopamine. Tubing such as the following. Microdrips. 60 drops per milliliters. Macrodrips. 15 drops per milliliters. Draw 5. Special procedure trays. Tracheostomy tray. Transvenous packing electrode kit. Bag valve mask. Adult. And pedia. Suction setup. Portable cart. ECG electrodes. Sterile gloves of various sizes. Sutures of various sizes and materials. Salam pump. Cricothyroidotomy kit. Adult and pediatric cut down pack. Large bore needle and syringe. For tension pneumothorax. Lumbar puncture kit. Maintenance of crash cart. The worst thing ever is to reach for a piece of emergency equipment or an emergency medication and find it inoperable or expired. It is important that the crash cart be checked regularly and maintained so that its contents are there when needed. The following is a maintenance routine that should be completed at least monthly. Expiration dates on medications should be checked on the first day of the month. Expired medications should be promptly removed and replaced. The defibrillation pads on the automated external defibrillators or the defibrillator should be checked for expiration date. The battery charge on the monitor and or automated external defibrillators should be checked and documented. Thank you for listening. Have a good day, and be safe. Agyamanak.